Taunton Town 1, Biddeford 2. Um, I, I think it's fair to say a disappointing night in the county town. Rob, um, what do you make of the 90 minutes? Well, we don't like losing it? games, but you know it is, is pre-season. We got a, you know, and obviously they've come down to play a certain way tonight, you know, which is their prerogative. No way, no at all. If you want to do that in pre-season, again, that's your prerogative. What you're getting out of it, absolutely nothing. But listen, it is what it is. You know, uh, it was good to see some of the lads. You know, obviously we have four or five out tonight, so it was good to see some of the other lads who have been pressing for places and how they played and how they showed some intent in the second half. Um, because even though, you know, you know, the second goal was really, really sloppy and I thought we were a bit sloppy in our play all over at times and we waited and nobody complains it's hot, but I don't buy into that. Like, you know, you deal with what's in front of you, play what's in front of you, whether that's Yeovil or Exeter or whether it's Biddeford. So, yeah. And sometimes you've got to adjust your sights a little bit and play a certain, certain way and a little bit different. So we didn't do that tonight. We didn't do that for large parts of the game. But for the last 25 minutes, you know, when we did dominate, and we just couldn't get, couldn't get the goal. You know, we had enough chances tonight yeah. to win three games. But but it's, it's pre-season. Lads have got minutes in their legs again, you know. And you know, one or two hadn't played 90, got 90 into them, yeah. you know. So it, so it's good. We got Chainbow 90, first 90 for six months. So it's great. It's good. It's, it, listen, it, 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 this guess game's forgotten mm. next week, the week after, or whatever. Like mm. you know, same as Exeter and Yeovil forgot their games against yeah. us. You know, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you say, it's it's difficult to play um, a pre-season friendly when you know an oppos opposition team has ten men behind the ball. It, it's that kind of thing, and you've, you're firing shots off for the last 25, and you're just not really getting anything on yeah, it. Yeah, no, we, we we didn't like scoring tonight. If I'm being honest, you know, um, it actually put some good quality in the box, yeah. which is something we've been looking to do. Um, it was better we didn't get on the end of it. Set pieces, we probably should have scored two or three more. We didn't, didn't weren't quite there tonight. You like, you know, it wasn't quite there, but. Hey, it, it's pre-season. Yeah. Yeah, and pre you say you sort of you weren't uh, like maybe 100 percent there tonight. Do you feel that you're missing key players such as your Jay Falstons and your Ross Stearns and your Nick Grimes at all? Or? Oh, listen, you take those types of players out of any type, yeah. any side, they're always <laughs> going to be difficult. But I believe we've got a really good, solid 18-19, and through the whole of pre-season, everybody who's come on has done really well. Harry tonight, <laughs> do you know what I mean? He's come on and done really, really yeah. well. Been impressed by him. He's had a good pre-season. Dylan He's Morgan as well. Dylan Morgan, really, really sharp. You know, I'm really impressed by him. So, I like to think that we've got a good 18-19. So, even though you won't take over those certain style players, you know, it's, uh, it was good to see. I think it's good to see getting more minutes in Will Tunnicliffe. You know, so. It ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah. It ticks a lot of boxes. And as you say, there are a few positives which we can take out, especially with leading up to the first goal, the partnership between Nick McCousey and, and Dave Sims Burgess. Yeah, yeah. Good look good. Yeah, Coots looked at him. I'm really, really pleased with Sims. He's not got another 70 into him. And then, you know, Jarf, when he came on, he's an absolute handful. He's a bruiser, you know. Yeah. He's, he, you know, he's very unfortunate. He was a, probably the most blatant penalty you'll ever see. <laughs> but listen. These things happen, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's pre-season, I guess. Pre and, and that's that's the time for you now to work out those things ahead of the start of the league. Absolutely. We can talk to lines very politely. <laughs> OK. Um, and moving on to uh, to Friday, we're away at, uh, at Froome Town. Uh, what do you make of them? Yeah, they'll be good. They're very well organised. They've got some playoffs. Um, Greasy's a really good guy. He'll have them. He's got some good players. He signs some good players. Uh, surface will be nice, and we've got to be better than we were tonight. There's no doubt about it. Like you know, there's no doubt about it. It's part of pre-season. We want to play plenty of games. Um, we'll have one or two back, so that'll be good. Um, and we go again. You know, we go again. So listen, nothing lost. No points on it tonight. But, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. Excuse me. <laughs>